Hello YouTube, I'm Daniel Chan. Today I'm going to share with you guys how you can turn your own YouTube studio from something like this to this. Before I share with you guys how I build out this lighting setup, the first thing I want to share about is why I want to shoot this video. There still have a lot of people think in order to achieve the cinematic looks, you need to buy the really fancy cinema camera and lenses, which is definitely not true. You can actually achieve the cinematic look just by changing the light in your video. That's why I'm going to share with you guys today step by step how I build out this cinematic lighting looks by only playing around with the gear I have. It doesn't really matter what kind of the gear you have, but it only matters if you know how to create your lights. So without further talk, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that we are going to set up is our key lights. And the lights that we are going to use for our key is these two bad guys. This is a LED light tube that made by the Cam TV company. In my opinion, it's a really powerful light. It has the RGB feature and the output is really great. I think it's probably sells around 250 to 280 uh, on Amazon. I will put the links down below, then you guys can go check it out. But just for right now, let me just sit down and look how it looks like on my face. Okay. So for the people who don't really have filmmaking or photography background, uh, normally when we start setting up our key lights that we will put it on our left hand side or right hand side, probably around 30 to 45 degree. The reason why we do that is because it creates the best contrast for our human's face. Now our key light does create a really good contrast for my face but it can be better. It's actually a little bit too harsh on my face right now. If I put my finger over here, you can clearly see the harsh shadow. So the way that we are going to fix it is we are going to put the diffusion in front of our light to soften. it. So the diffuser that we are going to use for today is called bleach muslin, and which is something right over here. So you can easily buy it in a local Viber store. It probably costs you around $20 to $30 and really depends on how big you want it. And in my opinion, it's really the budget-friendly options for the diffuser. So let's just try to put it on. For here, because we don't have any survival kits or any other lighting equipment that we can attach my muscling. So for right now, I'm just going to put the muscling on this two light stand. And let me just put it on. Okay, so I already raised my muscling up. So right now probably some people will ask me why I want to put my muscling to be this big. They are really important is when you every time when you soft the lights. When you put your diffusion, then you need to remember how big is your light source is and how soft the light you can get. So that's why I put my muscling like this way. I know it probably looks a little bit crazy, but I can guarantee you it's definitely worth it. So let's go ahead to see what it looks like on my face. After we put the muscling on, we can see our light looks a lot softer and flattering on my face. But we also can see they have a lot of light spreading on our background. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the black blankets, which is this thing right here. I'm going to use to block the lights for our light source to avoid the light spreading on my wall and my background. So after we block the lights for our background, right now you can see I look more standout in this whole image. The reason why is because we maintain the right contrast ratio for our highlights and our shadow, and also because we block the light leak on our wall. But you probably still think the whole image looks still a little bit flat, and the reason why is because it actually lacks some depth in our image. So that's the time for us to move on to our next step, which is turn on our particle lights. So there are three particle lights that we are going to use for today's setup. The first one is the LED wall lights that I bought in Target. It cost me around 20 bucks. Uh, I think it's super cheap and also can let your whole image looks more interesting. 
So the second one is the Tungsten Small Lamp. So it's like give you the one light color. You also can substitute it to the Christmas light. I think it also can give you the same effect. So let's move on to our next and the last particle lights that we have today, which is my computer screen. I set it to the blue color, which can give you the color contrast with the lamp. So let's head back to see what it looks like for after we turn on all the particle. <sighs> After we turn on all the particle lights, right now you can see our image looks a lot better. But we are not there yet. I'm going to do two more things to let my image pop out a little bit more. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the backlight. So the backlight can help us to separate from the background. And the second thing I'm going to do is add the kicker lights, which can help us to enhance our fake structure. So let's put the backlight first. The light that we are going to use for our backlights and our kicker light is actually the same lights that we use for our key lights, which is the LED lighting tube. But the difference is we, this backlight needs to be motivated by this small light lamp, which we need to match the color of it. So let's just turn it on to see what it looks like right now. <laughs> okay, so right now you can see it's obvious the green color, so it's not matched to our scene. So let's just let me change the color of it and it needs to be more Thompson. Okay, probably right here. So right now you can see the color is matched to, to the small light lamp and I think it looks pretty the same. So let's just go back to see what it looks like on the screen right now. You can see after I turn my back lights on, it actually helped me to separate from the background and it also gives us the warm Thompson look that motivated by the light lamp. So the next and the last thing that we are going to do is set up our kicker lights. So let's go do it. This kicker light is also going to mimic the particle light source that we already have in the scene, which in here is this computer screen. So we are going to turn this light on and change the color to the blue color. So I think this is a pretty good spot and at this time it also create the teal and orange color palettes with my backlights which I think that the whole image looks more cinematic. So let's go back to see the final result. After one hour lighting setup, we turn something like this to this. I hope you guys find this video to be helpful. The whole point for this video is I want to share with you guys how you can still achieve the cinematic looks without any fancy lighting equipment. And maybe you can take away something from it and utilize the concept for your future video project. Thanks for watching my channel again. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and or maybe consider to subscribe it because it really means a lot to me. And please feel free to leave the comment in below. I will try to answer it as fast as possible. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, right? Probably. Okay, see you next time. So thanks again for watching my beauty. So then, so then, so thanks again to watch my YouTube channel. I hope you find this so then